The dream of a 22-year-old girl living with physical disability is to go through the normal cycle of eating and using a place of convenience with ease. A Form 3 general art student of the Northern School of Business, Babisco Rashida Aminu Tintuni, who has been restricted to a wheelchair since she was one year old, eats once a day because she does not want to feel the urge to pass a stool. Rashida must crawl into a bush despite any danger to relieve herself. Alternatively, if she must use a public toilet, she leaves her wheelchair outside and crawls into the unhygienic toilet. She prays for her own toilet someday so she can have three meals without inhibition. Miss Rashida has a sit down with our Northern Regional Correspondent, Joyce Kantam Kulamong. Latrine access, especially outside the home, remains one of the challenges for persons with mobility impairments, especially in the developing world. Toilets across the country are usually not user-friendly to persons with physical disabilities. The doors are narrow, meaning no access for persons using wheelchairs. Also, many other sanitation considerations are not taken for persons with physical disabilities. Data from the Northern Regional Office of Ghana Federation for Disability Organizations, GFD, shows that there are about 126 persons with physical disability in the Tamil metropolis. Of this number, 60% are females. In the heart of Chokulo, caused a suburb of Sagnarigu, municipality of the Northern Region, is Rashida Aminu Tintoni, a 22-year-old girl living with a physical disability. She's the first of her parents' four children. She and her younger siblings live with their grandmother, Aisha to Abubakari. Rashida is impaired from the lower limb and bound to a wheelchair to make her mobile. At age one, Rashida could not crawl, let alone attempt to take her first step. All efforts by her family to seek orthodox and traditional help to enable her work were not successful. Rashida's biggest nightmare is going to the toilet. For her, going to the bush, especially when the sun sets, is always scary, not knowing the dangers she's likely to face when she crawls into the bush. Even myself, it's a challenge. It's one of my challenges because in the house, when I'm going to um, defecate or urinate, it will be difficult for me because I don't like to sit in my house on the floor, so it's difficult for me. But when it comes into the school, it's the same thing. It's difficult in the school and in the house. I always go to the forest, the, the, and my sisters will always send me there. The grasses is there, everything. You can just meet a, a living thing there, Kura maybe a snake or something. So I'm, I'm always afraid when I'm feeling like easing myself. Miss Rashida says this situation has changed her eating habit. She eats less or nothing at all for the simple reason of avoiding the toilet. I have to eat because when I eat, the food will digest and it will come out as urine or feces. So because of that, I don't like eating. Even in the house, it will even take one week for me to eat myself. The human rights, water, and sanitation constitute the rights of every individual, including persons with physical disabilities, devoid of any discrimination. Access and regular use of sanitation facilities by physically challenged persons is important in reducing the risks of contracting diseases associated with poor sanitation. Ms. Rashida is urgently appealing to the public for help. If I get the toilet in the house, I will be very happy. I will be very grateful to the person who will give me that. Uh, one of my challenges. In the midst of all these challenges, the 22-year-old says she's not giving up on her dreams. She wants to become a journalist. Ms. Rashida, however, says her dreams will come to nothing if she does not get the necessary support. APIC Sunday Gregory is the assistant headmaster in charge of administration of the Northern School of Business, Nobis School. Rashida is such a courageous uh, person. She 
of as somebody who can be better off. And uh, if you really follow up where she comes from, and yet makes time to ensure that she's always in school in good time, you will appreciate the fact that she's doing her best. On the home front, Rashida shares a single room with her three siblings, grandmother, and five other family members. They all sleep on the cold bare floor. With her grandmother no longer working due to an accident that affected her knee, things are worse. Her grandmother, Emma Aisha to Abubakari, is teary when she reveals that sometimes her granddaughter goes to school on an empty stomach because there's neither food nor money to give her. What has befallen on my granddaughter? I leave everything to God. It is the will of God. I will continue to take care of her until my maker calls. Any form of assistance from people will be much appreciated. Rashida says societal neglect, stigma, and the mindset of some that persons with disabilities cannot make it in life pushes her to go to school every day to prove society wrong. The inclusive WASH website states that people with a disability represent the largest socially excluded group globally and most live without access to basic sanitary services which can exacerbate impairment and poverty. For GBC News, Joyce Kantam Kolamu, Tamale.